When you're programming the ESP32 or the 8266, you may find it useful to use the C++ auto keyword. But what is it and what does it do? Normally when we're defining variable types, we put the type string integer floating point char in front of the variable name. So string name equals David, integer humidity equals 55, float temperature 36.8. Fairly straightforward. But you can let the compiler decide, infer what the variable types should be by just prefixing the variable name with the word auto, the keyword auto. Now name equals David, the compiler decides that must be a type string, humidity is an integer and so on. And auto choice at the bottom there must be of type char. So that's a very useful facility in C++. Here I've defined a function called 2 degree C and I've asked for my variable float current temperature 2 degree C is a floating point type but I need it to return a floating point type and somewhere in my code I've returned it as an integer which is not correct but the use of the auto keyword would have given me the correct answer on the on the right there. So auto two degrees C. In summary, then using the auto keyword can correct data type errors for you. And when code changes, when libraries change, it helps to maintain uniformity in the type variable definitions. And for most practical purposes, it's advantageous to use it. So let the compiler decide for you. One thing to be aware of is when you come to code maintenance that later on, maybe in a year's time when you come back to review the code, you won't necessarily remember what the data type is because it was auto assigned for you. But it's a small price to pay. That's it. Simple. I hope you found it useful. I hope you found this technical note interesting and useful. 